So what is up bosses, it's your boy Boss Fabwad and welcome back to another episode of 3 Random Games. This ladies and gentlemen is episode number 65 and this time we are starting off with a Adventure Time horror game called The Fear Time which is very interesting. This is currently the most or the best rated, the most viewed game on itch. I have no idea, I just went onto games and it's the first one there. I don't know if that means the most played, the most liked, the most popular at that time. I guess it is like the most popular current game of that week. I think it probably uploads up or updates every week or every month, something like that. And also the first time, or I say the first time, the first time in a while, or maybe I've been doing this the whole time, my memory's just terrible because it's been about four, maybe even five months since the last episode. But that brings me to the point that I'm mentioning, or why I'm mentioning this. This is to my knowledge the first time that I am just going through the list and every time I see a cool game and it's short I record it for a three random games and then eventually I will have three videos for or three games for that episode and hopefully that means I these can actually start being friend, a bit more regular than every freaking third or like three yeah that would be like three a month or three a year right then I didn't get any of that because I spoke over it I'm, I'm not playing as these go talk to Dido I thought you were Jake the dog and Finn the human. Finn the human and yeah, I think it's Jake the- I think that's that order. Have you seen this before? Probably in- in a game with a knight in it, I'd- I'd say. A game that has uh, maybe- maybe knight the game you're in there? <coughs> Jesus Christ man, okay, it's one of these games, is it? One of these games where it's just loud jump scares for the freaking sake of it. Gotta love them. I don't know who or Dido is that like the little uh, the little what's it called like the freaking Game Boy character like their little pet thing Turbo Wash I thought okay I I thought that was a bin never mind the hell kind of thing is this what is happening who knows right then is is this is this Dido this thing I mean I haven't seen Adventure Time in a while so maybe there's a new character I think I shut this door already didn't I. Oh no, I guess I didn't. Didn't check it good enough. Oh, the, the freaking room. The bedroom that just has snow on the ground. Snow as the freaking... As the as, as the ground paper. You have wallpaper and you have ground paper. The, the ceiling paper seems to be the void. With a slight bit of snow also. The, the void mixed in with a bit of snow. Fantastic. That is the paintwork that I freaking asked for. Do I need to speak to one of you guys? No? Oh no? I thought that was, I thought the freaking fridge was like a start of a, um, what's it called, like a freaking speech bubble then. What am I actually, how do I begin the game? Oh, I can also open this door. Fair enough. Brilliant. What was, what was I doing when I started the freaking game? I just wasn't playing old as a TARDIS, freaking very much so copyright. I have seen this before, I've seen it right here, despite me seeing these guys after you asking me if I'd seen them. I can, is that me jumping? No, I think that's just me thrusting up against the edge of the freaking bed and just levitating a bit. Who is this person that I'm meant to speak to? I don't see anyone apart from three characters, and I can't speak to any of them. So you have to just click random buttons until... Oh, nothing in diary yet, until this guy just suddenly talks to you. That's nice. Good way of starting the game. Well, I saw no tortured equipment in the video that I watched what am i doing wrong i don't understand we we, we have to talk to the, the, this guy is the guy that i need to speak to q right of course of course it's q jesus christ man did you say my room's the snow room nice i'm getting a call am i don't need to answer this it's a q to speak to people despite e being the interact oh hello interact button Okay, brilliant. I mean, I don't need to go to the toilet. What, what were you, were you freaking phoning me to tell me that? I'm gonna go in your room, mate. Nice. Why are you sleeping? I'm, what? Oh, wonderful. That's great, that. I could also see if I can, no, can't interact with that, brilliant. So I can actually go on top of the bed. It's just one way you just have to thrust up against like at the quarter of two objects and then you get up there. Have I done this yet? Oh, I have done. Oh, click. It says click. What? Well, you don't click on that. Clicking on that does freaking nothing. 
Hello. Well, then, okay, yeah. Of course. Of course that would happen. There we go. Right, don't use toilet paper. I'm just hoping it's a number one. Hello, Jay. I saw you in the girl. Don't be afraid. She's nice. She will <laughs> you. Her name is Nafisa. I wanted you to save me from Dido because it's not the real Dido. It's a monster called the light. Yeah, you I'm coming. What happened to Finn? What happened to his name being Finn? Did, did something happen in a later freaking episode? Who knows? <laughs> right, okay. So the sound still plays. Go sleep now. Right then. Okay, not not in about five seconds. Absolutely right now. Sleep on the freaking snow. Jump jump into bed. Right then. Oh, I, oh, I'm loading up Audacity, apparently. Audacity, I don't actually need you right now. Thank you very much. Hello? Okay. Oh, then this guy's here. Paper. It's not me, it's dog. Dog. And what has happened now? Talking about from where you are. I don't, I can't even freaking hear what you're saying, mate. To be honest, I have no idea what this guy's saying. Am I? What am I doing? Come to it. Come to it. What I freaking heard? Is that what you said? I mean, it, it doesn't mean anything to me, mate. What is happening? Right, you, uh... Oh, come to eat, maybe? Why is your left hand 3D and your right hand 2D? What's that about? Oh, you just killed someone in the freaking red room, that's nice. Woman? Are you... no? Woman isn't in there anymore. Is Jake dead? <laughs> right, that still works. Nice. There we go. Nice. We we did it. Hell yes. Okay. Right. Where is the dog? It's in your stomach. Eh? Sorry about that. It's a massive freaking yawn. What is happening? Oh, is that the... Oh, Jesus Christ, what? That's a freaking, like, the princess woman, right? Okay, I don't want to be standing on you anymore. Jesus Christ, man. Okay, Finn's burning. That's the... Oh, I... Oh, I clicked out of the game. Of course I did. Now we're... Right. Yeah, now we're going through a tunnel. Let's go. We're... Oh, no, never mind. We are very much so Usain Bolt. The complete opposite of what I was about to say. Oh, he's chasing after me, is he? Oh, brilliant! It's you! <laughs> Hello! I could have sworn you were behind me, but never mind. And now I am outside of it. Brilliant! I mean, maybe I can be a bit faster now, so I guess I don't go that way. That's death. I can see that there's something above here. Am I slower when I'm standing up? I really do not know what's happening. I, I absolutely love when the freaking enemy is faster than you. That's always really fun. Okay, it does seem like I'm actually speeding up now for once. I'm actually trying to outrun the enemy. This is definitely the furthest I've got. I'm, I'm just going to... Right, you know what? Yeah, okay, good. I was correct. Then I... I died! Right, that's that's me dying, alright? Good to know. That wasn't me cutting out the freaking jump scare, that, that was a freaking silent jump scare. Just spam the button. <coughs> what? what do I do then? That's the end of it, right? Uh, may, maybe I'll just try and go to the right at the... I've... the hell? What? Take out of the box the thing that Ditto is happy to have. Hey, you stupid. How dare you? Right then, I, I did it, apparently. I... Oh, I succeed... What the hell? <coughs> what? I guess that's what's meant to happen after you... I don't freaking know. Does this game look like it, it was made to, to be enjoyed? Who knows? I mean, money maybe? <coughs> no! I thought you just got killed by a freaking fan. Don't put me at the beginning of it, please. 
Okay, good. I'm I'm now just falling through the freaking ground. Um. Oh yeah, no, you're happy to have toilet paper because you told me not to use it. Whoops. But just for a laugh. <coughs> Ditto loves a princess of this uh, chewing. Is it actually chewing gum, isn't it? I don't know what Nefissa is. Yes, okay. Because she is like the chewing, like, bubble, bubble gum, bubblegum princess, isn't it? Where's the best ditto food? Uh, middle. We haven't done middle yet. Brilliant. Wonderful. Which instrument does ditto play? I mean, there's a piano. The piano's the only... No, never mind. I've seen a piano. I don't recall seeing the other two, but now he doesn't play the piano. That would be preposterous, that. He plays the flute. Of course, I know that. Where's Ditto's purpose in life? Scare and kill people, kill anyone for toilet paper, help only one in need of help. Uh, yes. He killed Jake, so then Jake wouldn't use any of his toilet paper. Hello. My best friend, I, I can't read the text on the left. <coughs> the hell? The directors. By Combo Games? Nice! Right then. Let's move on to the next one, shall we? Welcome to Maze of Bouncy Bear. I'm very much so glad that this game has an option to do optimal settings, because I can really tell that this is like proper, like freaking 8K gaming, even 1632K gaming. Ray tracing very much so enabled. So this is a Garth and a Ban Ban fan made game. Life is like a roller coaster ride. It has its ups and downs. Sometimes it's fast and sometimes it's slow, but it never stops. Exactly one year ago from today, Mike entered the maze. I found the courage to uncover the mystery by myself. Full stop, apparently. We are... Oh, we're in the game now. So I did see that this... Yeah, I did see that the graphics are like... I know I was joking before, but the graphics are quite nice looking. And I don't really know why it looks a bit freaking blurry. But as you can tell, ray tracing enabled in 32k. My PC's an absolute beast. Do not touch. Bouncy bear. Do not go in the maze alone. Do not go in the dark. Do not run. Well, I can't run. I can't do any of them at the moment, so... Hello, my name is Bouncy Bear. Can you make it out my maze? I don't really want to, to be honest, mate. I do like that whole thing there. I don't know. I th I'm pretty sure that Poppy did that. I doubt that Garton was, like, one to, uh, like, come up with that or anything. But, like, I do like that whole thing where the character and then, like, the, uh, the speech bubble. Mr. Mun says, eat everything if you want to not eat you me to not eat you. Right then. If you don't want to be killed, kill everyone, and then there's no one to kill you. Life advice with... Freaking, uh, Mr. Mr. Mons. There we go. What do I do to interact with this? Do I need to get my trusty freaking blurry drone friend somewhere? Or what are these very bright... Yeah, my eyes are actually freaking going to be hurting after this one, aren't they? I'm here. Right then. That's nice. Well, I don't know how to begin the freaking maze for now. Can I not... Oh, E. I just need to get really freaking closer. What is this? Showtimes. It's 1979, apparently, so I think I'm just a few minutes out of it. Buzzy Bear says, if you can't find the exit, hopefully someone will come to help you. Don't want that, to be honest, mate. If I can't find the exit, then I'm dead. I wouldn't consider anyone helping me a good thing. Oh, brilliant. Wet floor, is it? Playground, hey kids, come here to play, dance, and sing with us. I mean, I'll do one of them things, but I don't play and I don't sing. Space crayons. Blurry crayons, nice. Can I do anything about that? I mean, I did put optimal settings on, so maybe optimal settings on my freaking specific rig is blurriness. I My voice is cracked. 0210, I love you, by Mike Brown. Fancy Bear. 0210. Try and remember. That's my footsteps, isn't it? Why do, why do my footsteps sound like they're not my footsteps? Should I be freaking concerned about that? Probably. 
Mr. Mon's house. Nice. I'm hearing things now, though. Which is never good. And then that's about... Oh, that's Bounty Bear's house. Brilliant. That's the guy that's going to be freaking around here eventually, I'd imagine. I have forgotten the code. 0120, I think, maybe? I see something. I see a bit of red. Definitely a good idea to go up to that. That is... Okay, that's just where I've already been. So if I'm lost, then someone will be here. As long as you're correct on that, no one should be here. We're going into the back rooms. Uh, I'm just going to hope that I remembered it correctly. Zero... Oh, oh, okay, I need to get rid of all of it. Uh, zero, one, two, zero, I'm pretty sure, right? No, okay, let's go back and find the... No, I'm just moving now, yes. Let's go back and find the correct code then. Zero two one zero. You serious? Jesus Christ! That is no. That's just the sign there. Never mind. Is this literally the end of the game now? I mean, I've seen that some freaking videos on this is like four minutes. This might just be the end of the game here. I might actually finish a horror game without getting the crab scared out of me, and even that without getting jump scared at all, because I'm an absolute boss that's found. It's either zero two one zero or zero one two zero. I know that. I'm going to say, I think it was 0120 that I did last time, so 0210. 00210. Nice. And we haven't beaten the game, of course we haven't. What next then? Oh, great. Oh, I'm stuck here. Nice. Right, I'm just going to be going back then. Don't mind. I can't go back anymore. I had the choice to go back before. This. Well, okay, that's actually quite cool. Hello. Teddy Bear, I'm clicked out of the game again. Why? I don't want you to be there. Mike, I promise you, I'll get my revenge very soon. It has to do with fire. And that's the end, I imagine. Yep, that is the end. Right then, moving on to the next one. Welcome to Entity Room. So this looks like quite a cool horror game. February 18th, 1987. Okay. So I basically am running this lab and I need to make sure this entity, whatever it is, is fed and is kept in good condition every day and I have to clean up the establishment. And it looks kind of like alien isolation in the sense you go up to these like modules and read some things. So exactly like alien isolation. First day of the new section. I hope everything goes well. Right, we're straight into it. Oh, and it also has this kind of like VHS style. And okay, I thought OBS was lagging then. Never mind, we are good. Right, so I don't know what... Okay, F, F to use the torch. Brilliant. I literally pressed F exactly when that freaking showed up. So without that, I would have no idea what I'm doing. Gone jump or anything? Right then. Yeah, very much so like the art style. It's like, a, as I said, like a slight VHS style. Kind of reminds me a bit of Outlast as well. Very cool looking. Right, where is this entity then? Why do I... I mean, I guess it's realistic, me actually like slowing down when I go down the stairs. So actually, I kind of like that. That's kind of a cool, um, unique thing that I don't really see in many places doing. Oh yeah, it is actually kind of... Oh, it is. My apologies for that, ladies and gentlemen. It seems like Window Capture just really doesn't like this game. I tried it in full screen and it was still just dropping frames. Now I'm on Display Capture and it seems to be fine. So that is all good. Right. We can continue now. I just need to focus on... Ob I'm literally looking at OBS every freaking three seconds to make sure it doesn't actually go bad. E to use the door. Right then. And what have we got in here? Yeah, here we go. This is where Alien Isolation kicks into play. Emails from subject received. Okay, this is an automated email. Do not reply. Freaking love them. Description of Entity 014. Highly dangerous of terrestrial origin. Bipedal, uncanny human-like appearance. God, it's hard to actually see what line you're on with this, um, like, colour scheme. Skin doesn't reflect light. Glowing red eyes. Body mass consists mostly of human meat. Develops more human-like appearance over time. Doesn't kill prey before eating. Extremely agile. Can jump far distances. Incidents. 4th of the 8th. 84. 8th of the 4th. 84. Total power failure resulting in E014 escaping the room and killing the operator. 8th for the, yeah, 17th of the 8th. 1986. Redacted. Disclaimer, by partaking in this operation, you agree that the Entity Research Facility, also known as ERF, will not be held responsible for any form of physical harm. Right then, so this is this top one isn't anything we can read yet. So we've got another one here. 
Hello, my name is Matt. I was assigned to take care of onboarding you. So, your job is actually pretty easy. The entity needs to be fed once a day with exactly one prisoner. To do that, just open the door R1IN or R1IN through your computer. After it's eaten, the respective room needs to be clean. Once the door R1OUT or open the door R1 out through your computer. You need a strong stomach, but you can get used to it. First, throw body parts. If they're already left into the container, then clean the blood with the mop. Best regards, Matt. Okay. I don't remember what I need to do, but I'm sure I'll be really good. Okay. Night vision. Hello. Hello, buddy. How are we doing? Room two. Okay, dead in room two. Sleeping in room three, maybe? Operator room hall can't go into. Entity room. Right then. Okay, so I can't go into empty room, so I guess, yeah, the room one? I mean, room one I probably need to start in anyway. Okay, I see, yeah. Um... So I open... Right, I think I failed. That doesn't sound good. Right then. I guess these are the three rooms. What happened? Or is this... Oh! Jesus Christ! Right then! Okay! What is happening? I don't think there was anything further back, right? Like any other things I need to go through? Oh, R1 out. So this is now over here, maybe? Yes. Please tell me that we're fine. Pick up, okay. Place them... Where? Right then. I, th I think I did it correctly. I said like R1 in, then R1 out, didn't it? Where do I place the body parts or anything? I thought maybe I'd have to place it in the bin or something. Let me actually read this. Oh, I can't interact with you again. Right, so I'm, I'm going to have to find where to freaking put this if I want to continue with the game. Okay, just in there, yeah. Next to the freaking thing. I thought I already tried to do that, but I guess not. And then I use the mop to mop up the rest. I should remove the body parts first. Okay, so there's more body parts in here, apparently. That one there. So I think I've done this correctly. I don't know. Eat to clean. Nice. I think we've done gooded. I mean, I opened the only one that seemed like the guy was actually alive. Do I... I don't mop up anything like that. Right then. So I, I guess if I open in now, R1 in, then he can get out. I mean, he seemed to be here, didn't he, or something? Oh, emo. I mean, first of all, I should probably... Close you. There we go. Hey, good job. Looks like you're unnatural. Okay, have you checked the CCTV? Nowadays, they even have a night vision mode. Pretty heckin' cool if you ask me. Oh, by the way, in case you were wondering, while the entity is eating, the CCTV is taken offline. We don't want our operators to be disturbed. Anyway, you're doing good. You're done for the day. You can go to sleep already if you want. Well, I'll be pretty similar. Feed the entity, clean the room, rinse and repeat. Kind regards, Matthew. Nice. So, yeah, he's gone now. So I did mess up, I assume. I'm assuming that I can just... So I don't need to leave, I can continue, but I, I guess I will, yeah, sure. I'll go. I guess I go back... No. Where do I... Oh, do I... I just sleep, right. I just sleep here, brilliant. Morning. Let's go. You to get out of bed, hell yes. What is the thing for today then? Good morning, you probably saw that the lights aren't working. Don't worry, it's basic maintenance in one of our electricity generators. It's just the lights. Everything else still works fine, just use your torch. So that'll be pretty similar to yesterday. Press the button R2 in to open the door so the entity can have a feast with a prisoner in room 2. The entity wants breakfast, don't let it wait. Don't forget to clean the room afterwards. Right then. I guess we get straight onto it then. So room two. This guy that's dead. 
Okay, so like these these guys are the prey then. That's why they disappear, I guess. So doors are you in. And then he eats. So that's all good. I guess I just have to wait a bit. Yep, there we go. I have to wait until that happens. Or is that just it closing? Yeah. So that's our... Yeah, I have to wait. I don't know if you can, actually. Or what? Okay, yeah. So the lights aren't working for now. I guess I... I don't know if you can open the door before that sound happens. If you can, then I guess... Oh, brilliant! I guess that's death. Oh, hello, mate. How are you doing? You're not going to be getting me anytime soon. I'm just the good old freaking janitor of the establishment. Who knows? I, I need to mop up the freaking floor now. Don't mind me. See, so he goes into this little bit here, yeah. So he actually goes in between, like, the room or the indoor and the outdoor. Which is a bit terrifying. But I'm done for the day again, I guess. Brilliant. Do, do I actually go to sleep after this now? I, I am awake for exactly four and a half seconds. Good job again, dude. Uh, you really are unnatural. I know hearing those screams can have a negative effect on your psyche, but trust me, those people were feeding... We're feeding to the entity of scum. They did unspeakable, highly immoral things to other people. They should be happy that they are allowed to contribute this to this experiment. We see... We sometimes jokingly call them organ donors. Anyway, our research on Entity-014 can lead to breakthroughs not just for military but also medical purposes. Always keep that in mind when doing your work. Yes, you're done for the day. Kind regards, Matthew. Oh, yes. I'm guessing... Oh, okay. Oh, brilliant. That's concerning. Right then. Okay. So... Oh, I actually haven't closed the door yet, have I? Yes. Very much so closed that, but he's already out, isn't he? He's very much so already out. I, I kind of want to see, though. I kind of want to freaking open that door again. So this door's now barged... No. Not that door. I thought that meant that this door was now barged down. Never mind. What door is barged down, then? It's definitely in room two, right? But I guess I would be able to see some illumination, maybe. Oh, I guess that's... That's the door there that I see. Okay, fair enough. I thought that maybe I could just walk in there now and potentially die. We either way, we're probably two-thirds way through the game. This is cool. Like, I, I would like this to be its uh, own video, but it's just not long enough. Oh, nice. Yep, okay. That's what I expected to happen. Or well, that's what I expected did happen. I guess I kind of a bit of spoiler alerted that. Maybe you weren't allowed or you shouldn't see that before or something. Day three. Not that exciting now, is it? Usually that's the point where your work becomes a boring routine. Anyway, you probably know what to do. Feed the entity, clean the room, take a crap, <laughs> okay, go to sleep. I'm just joking. It's important to have a sense of humor working in the environment like this. Anyway, tomorrow a new batch of prisoners will arrive, fresh meat. Don't worry, they're handcuffed and our guards will bring them into their rooms. Just make sure those rooms are clean. We don't want them to be uncomfortable. The entity room camera works again. Nice. Brilliant, that. Oh, hello. Oh, that's great. Yeah, re really, really freaking like that, mate. Thank you very much. So they're in... I can't do this, right? Yeah. Please don't be right here. Okay, good. I kind of didn't want to do that now. I don't know, are there like multiple things you can do here. Okay, so that closes automatically by itself, yeah. I kind of hope that you could mess up, like you could open the outer door first and like the, the enemy or the uh, the guy escapes and stuff like that. I kind of hope you could be able to do that. Well, that's how they could really like uh, progress this game if they are going to continue to work on it. Definitely a really cool concept. I mean, hopefully this is like kind of just like a teaser thing for it. That's a... Is that a brain, is it? Brilliant. Maybe it is. I'm just going to assume that I mop up now. Good. No, never mind. Oh, a head, of course. Always remember the head. The door hasn't opened. That's nice. Oh, do we not mop up outside of the rooms? Do we, do we not care what the outside of the rooms freaking look like? I mean, there's stains in here. 
Do we not want to clean in here? I guess not. Right, before I do anything else, I'm gonna freaking close that door immediately. You're not doing anything. Okay, I'll just check through all of these again. See if anything's changed. Room three. So th 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 there is a possibility for room four, I guess. Entity room, nothing in there still. Operator room, hall we can't look at. I mean, we're in the operator room and we can go into the hall. Oh, so the entity's like, yeah, I see now, like one person. So I can still... Yeah, I can't do anything. The, the only thing I can do is open the outer door for that. I guess I'll just go to sleep now. Let's go. All the doors are closed. I mean, I'm guessing this freaking entity is going to kill me eventually. Before the freaking new prisoners come on. I'm, I'm just... That's absolutely my assumption right now. Let's go. Unless we do continue and, like, the new prisoners are here. Okay. Well, now then. They want to get rid of you. Hide. Okay. Oh, hello. You were fed to the entity. Was I now? Right then. Okay, that is the end of the game then. So I was curious to see if that actually is the ending and no one else has found anything or at least the I saw anything to suggest like you can actually survive or anything like that. So I'm just assuming that is the ending. Hopefully this does get um, developed more. I mean, this is literally version 1.0.0 as we can see in the bottom left. Hopefully this gets developed more and then we get like some more endings. Maybe you can actually survive. You can actually hide under the bed or something and the entity doesn't get you. Because how did that door open? Maybe if you don't look at the entity, then something else different happens. Like if you just ignore the fact that you can now look at the entity camera. Who knows? I mean, if there are more stuff in this game, then maybe I might even consider to come back to this game. Maybe in the next three random games or something like that. Who knows? Maybe even in this video. But either way, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to end episode number 65. Or, first of all, that is going to end entity room and episode number 65 of an ongoing series we like to call three random games. As usual, there will be a link in the description if you want to check these games for yourself. And for now, hopefully you enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did subscribe for our brand new. It's your boy, Boss Fabbo. Thanks for watching, of course, always. Peace.